Now to a follow up on that decision to turn two lanes in each direction into one lane where the drivers are forced to enter the bike lanes on both sides in Mira Mesa. The city has apologized to residents for not being transparent about it. They've also put on hold any more of these kinds of roads from happening unless the community is involved. KUSI's Dan Plant joins us now. And, uh, this is a popular spot for uh, people because I think you broke the news about just how seemingly weird this was. Well, it is. And, you know, quite honestly, it's one of those stories that it has legs, if you will. Pretty much everywhere I go these days, if, you know, someone wants to chat or whatever, they're like, what's the deal on that road story you guys were talking about? And I just shake my head and say, you know, who, who knows? It's just this, you know, this weird thing coming out of City Hall where they do what they want, when they want, and they don't tell anybody about it. And this is one of them. So here it was, they woke up one morning. This used to be two lanes and actually about, here, let me show you, Drew, if you want to pan to the left about, oh, 30 feet. It is two lanes right here, right? So as you're going to the school, which is the Jonas Salk Elementary School, it goes back down to two lanes and then the bike lane becomes the street. But as you pan to the right, you'll notice that the two lanes disappear. <laughs> it turns into one lane with bikes on each side and no stripe down the middle. And people are confused. Uh, not only confused, but apparently it's triggering the collision alerts on some of the cars out here if they get too close. So I got a chance to catch up. Uh, with some of the folks earlier today, but they are declaring a little bit of a victory because there was an apology, at least partially. Take a look. It's a tiny little road tucked into a quiet residential neighborhood, but over the past week, there has been nothing tiny or quiet about the reaction. You're never supposed to drive in the bike lane, and all of a sudden we're supposed to drive in the bike lane. There's cars coming towards you. You don't know where to go. This is insane. Well, I almost got hit three times so far uh, going up the street to the grocery store. Most people in San Diego had never heard of Gold Coast Drive, but they have now. It's been the talk of the town ever since this bizarre new street design was installed by the city. It's actually a two-way road with one lane for cars and two lanes for bikes on each side. It was done without any community input and the city is now responding to the fallout. The city apologized for not reaching out to anyone ahead of time. The city apologized. In fact, Mayor Gloria's representative said it was unacceptable that the city did not tell anyone this was going to wind up occurring. Apologize for the sneak attack, but not the road design itself. Apparently, someone at City Hall still believes this is brilliant. Sadly, this experimental road was built using 10-year-old traffic study. The city was utilizing data from about 2013 to do their traffic study on this stretch of Gold Coast Drive. Well, at that time, Dan, in 2013, Salk Elementary had not been built yet. Salk Elementary is not built until 2014. Students didn't start going there until the following year. So basically, they were using very, very old traffic data. If the city would have just reached out to the Mira Mesa community, they would have learned there is a new traffic study, but they weren't interested. Now the community has started a petition to get the two-way road back and prevent this from happening on other roads in the area. Asking Mayor Gloria and Councilmember Kate to work with the city to have this repainted back to the way it was before. We also want to make sure that when the eastern part of Gold Coast Drive is rebuilt, that surface of the moon portion of Gold Coast Drive, that this traffic pattern is not replicated on there. And I think if both those things occur, people around here are going to be feeling a lot better about their relationship with the city and the fact that they're being heard. Speaking of being heard, a lot of people with newer cars are suddenly hearing a beeping sound as they drive down this street. It's the motion detector warning of a potential accident. Oh, that was the vehicle safety system and acting itself because I thought it was going to be a head-on collision. I've had actually more than one person tell me that they have a newer car and when they go down this lane, all the bells and whistles start going off and the brakes start being applied because the car doesn't understand what's happening with the traffic pattern on here either and it senses a collision may occur. Yeah. So there you go, another side benefit. Hey, but there's more. Take a look at this, you guys. I uh, remember last week when I said they were marking the streets and the sidewalks to put signs in people's yards? Well, here it is. Not only is it a sign saying no center line, but it, there's a tutorial where if you want to slow down and read it for a while, you can figure out what to do if a bicycle heads your way. 
<laughs> I mean, this is just something else. Another thing that was pointed out to me is that this is a community that has a lot of non-English speaking people who don't understand these signs, let alone would anybody understand these signs. I mean, take a look at this. This is just beyond comprehension. And it's in this guy's yard. It's over across the street. It's in these guys' yards. And I mean, actually across the street over here, it's, it's right next to the guy's sidewalk. I mean, it's like right in his walkway, like six inches away from his walkway. I mean, my goodness. So <laughs> they did the stripe, they didn't tell anybody, they did this whole thing. And even though they apologized for not informing anyone, they didn't apologize for the road. And they put up these signs following through on the entire project, I guess. I don't know, I guess the next thing is speed bumps because quite honestly, this is a very fast road and people are flying down here <laughs> all day long. So if they wanted to slow things down, this ain't working. Oh my gosh, but there is one little good thing. It's actually a pretty good thing. And that is since we've done these stories and I, I guess a couple other stations might've jumped on it. Um, the city of San Diego has said that they're putting a hold on all future designs like this until they can reach out to the community. Now, isn't that wonderful? Doesn't that make you feel warm and fuzzy? Mm. Anyway, so let's just hope that, you know, look, this is all about the climate change. This is all about getting carbon credits for the politicians. Every bike lane you put in, you get a certain amount of points toward your goal of 2035 of, you know, getting everybody out of their cars or whatever it is, you know, whatever their goals are. Uh, but th this is all part of that plan. And every time they put in a bike, bike lanes like this, they get credit. And, but I don't know what kind of credit they're gonna get for this car down the middle, this one lane down the middle. Somebody needs to take credit for that too. But apparently somebody thought this worked. And there's actually like a professor up in San Luis Obispo who has done studies on these kinds of things and says that, well, in the long run, they're much safer. You know, a lot of these professors are, by the way, paid to say these things and come up with these studies. So don't be fooled by every study and professor that comes forward and says something to you. Because for every study, there's another study that says something else. It's just crazy out here, you guys. But hopefully, if they continue on this path, if you will, on this road, uh, that they will inform the community, get community input. And perhaps this wouldn't have even happened had they actually reached out. So that's what's up, you guys. Th throw it back to you. Yeah, it sure does look scary if you were on a bicycle in that lane at the same time that two cars yeah. are passing each other. I, I mean, my goodness, I, I suppose they would slow down and wait for the other car to pass, and then they'd move over and not hit the cyclist. <laughs> that seems to be the plan. Yeah, all there. those things. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, uh, it's Dan a good Flint. one. It's a good one for sure. Thank yeah. you, my friend. Appreciate the live report. Make sure you read the tutorial before you come here, okay. though, okay? Okay, I will. Read the tutorial. All right, Thank you. can we come down? All right, see you there. Do they have a test on the tutorial at the end of the block? Then it goes back to a normal? Yeah, all right. <laughs>